Good evening, everybody. This is Meredith Lego. If you're new to the channel, uh, this channel focuses on ascension science and the expansion of consciousness. And a lot of the content that I bring forward basically is teachings that I've been able to channel by connecting uh, telepathically with other um, kind of interdimensional or extra dimensional beings. And today I'm going to be sharing a uh, message that basically I have received from Pleiadians. So Pleiadians is obviously a large star system, if you will, um, in our galaxy. And there's many, many beings basically that live there. Um, I'm not sure exactly of the specific type, but um, this is basically a message that I've received. So um, I'm going to basically share it and then provide any commentary on it. Um, so the message I got is that the seven sisters are placed in your reality bubble. And the seven sisters does refer to the, the star system, the Pleiadians, or the Pleiades, excuse me. Your world collides with lights and time. Find the feelings for the transition to the higher heart, for the beginning to unfold, for heaven awaits. So pausing right there, um, basically the message is that our, our world, um, our dimensional realities, our understanding of consciousness is colliding and it's colliding through lights and time. So basically, uh, you know, lights is the concept of information or consciousness exchange that can happen through photonic light. And we're obviously um, both receiving and exchanging light with the Pleiades as a star system. And that particular star system does give off um, a certain frequency to it. So essentially we're you know, receiving that frequency um, and time. So obviously over time with time, um, their frequency starts to impact our frequency. Um, then they say, find the feelings for the transition to the higher heart. And they're basically uh, saying this because essentially the, um, the frequency of beings in the uh, Pleiades is basically that of a frequency associated with love. So it's, it's basically the, the fifth dimension, if you will, fifth dimensional consciousness. And humanity is just really starting to rise into a better understanding of unity, consciousness, and love. And that, from um, basically a chakras perspective, is very much located in the higher heart. So it's, it's not necessarily the heart chakra, but it's actually the higher heart chakra, which is actually closer to the throat. And so when you start to emanate that frequency, um, if somebody's looking at your electromagnetic field, you're going to see more of a emanation of sort of an aqua or turquoise um, light that is essentially emanating off of your aura in that particular area. And um, so when you start to, uh, you know, ha really convey that feeling of unity and really understand it in the essence of who you are, you're taking on the frequencies of the Pleiades, if you will, and you are starting to transition to um, live and act more out of your higher heart. And when you do that, essentially, you experience what, um, you know, would have been, you know, conceived of as being heaven, if you will, because you're in a higher state of happiness and um, things that go on in the world don't rattle you quite as much. So they happen, but you may not be as rattled by them. And you have a different perspective around, uh, obviously, those you're interacting with in life. Uh, the message goes on to say that the secondary motion of time predicts a path of movement and momentum. The limits of this are only limited by the mind. The fear of freedom limits the potential of man or humankind. Kindred spirits swell up within the hearts of all to overcome fears that create dense realities. Limitations of humans are waning for a new dawn is emerging. The demands of the old world are outpaced or outstripped by the birth of the new. 
Um, so, so basically, again, here what they're they're saying is that you know I, I don't quite understand actually the first sentence, which is the secondary motion of time predicts the path and the movement and the momentum. Um, I probably could better understand that with a little bit more time of studying it, but but what I do definitely get from just other teachings that I've got is obviously fear. Um, fear that's associated with the loss of freedom. So in other words, um, if you start to fear the loss of freedom, you essentially put yourself into reality where you're just not free. Um, so if you um, have a positive vision of the fact that you are free and feel that and actually feel that in your heart at all times, so I am free um, and truly believe it, then that will be the outer world that you experience. So whenever you're in a situation where you're feeling that you are lacking freedom, so there's a lack of, um, that's essentially what, you know, within our own selves, we sort of create the sense, the, the, um, the illusion of not being free by essentially believing that or fearing that we aren't free. And so um, what they're saying is that basically there's kindred spirits or, you know, beings that have a, a, a current thought process or spirit within them that basically um, is starting to swell up and overcome that feeling of limitation that's associated with um, feeling that you're not free. So when you believe that you are free, you're essentially going to overcome that reality. Um, and that reality is very dense because when you have a fear, it creates a very dense uh, vibrational frequency within your field, so to speak. And so you're essentially going to be, you're going to be experiencing a reality that mirrors what um, energetic frequency that you're giving off. And it's a denser one. Um, so the limitations of humans that they create through the fears, um, the fears of a lack of freedom. So that that is a limitation, like a, be, being in a mode of a lack or a limitation. So that limitation is starting to wane in in some humans that obviously have this kindred spirit, and through that they are birthing a new dawn. So they will be birthing not only a new consciousness of the higher heart. <clears throat> but they'll also be birthing a new experience. And as a result, the demands that might have been associated with a lack of freedom or a perception of freedom in the quote unquote old world will be stripped away with the birth of a new experience or a new world in which freedom abounds. Um, so, so that's, that's basically the message. And, um, um, in fact, I've, I've been receiving several messages recently from this group. And part of the way that I can tell is the sort of the message and the energy that's associated with it. So I'll be sharing a few more messages. And I, I did receive other messages that were similar, I believe, from this group. It's been a while, probably a year or so. Um, but I'll try and include links as well. So with that, I hope you have a great day. It's actually Memorial Day today. So happy Memorial Day for anybody who's uh, watching in um, the United States. And I hope that uh, you have a great rest of your evening and weekend. Thanks very much. Bye.